As I fondly recall, myself and my brother Carlton believed that we were at the top of the criminal chain in England. Metaphorically shaking hands with the likes of Ronnie and Reggie as our heads were held high. Our careers as young pickpockets had been largely successful, with many items pilfered from the unsuspecting population of Pompey, then a cheery and bright town on the southern crest of England. However, as time dragged on, the once lively and fervent seaside town had begun to slowly descend into irrelevance and urban decay. The people of Pompey began to gradually catch on to our modus operandi, and we had to change tactics. We experimented with various forms of crime that would ensure our status of being top-tier criminals remained unchanged, and yet nothing appeared to work. That's when we both agreed on attempting a home invasion. My brother Carlson was the brains of the operation. His unrivalled brilliance earned him a number of awards during the short time we both attended school, as well as the admiration and appreciation from a large gallery of crooks and lowlifes living locally. Now, you might well have assumed I was the brawn of the dynamic duo, but that's far from the truth. I may well have attempted to scare off any potential rivals during our time as pickpockets, but otherwise, I was scared shitless. I was fearful of the future, fearful of what could happen to Carlson and me if we fell into obscurity. However, he convinced me that this plan of ours would make sure we remained feared by all, and so we plotted out our robbery with careful precision. The plan was simple, find an easily accessible window and jam it open using any tools necessary, ransack the entire place for everything it could possibly have, and then get out. It was simple and efficient. We truly believed nothing could go wrong. But, as you've likely already guessed, it went horribly wrong. Sorry, I would not get under pressure. Take one of these, you're crammed. So, to say that we were embarrassed would be an understatement. After we were caught, the son of homeowner Janice Tweedle, Jonathan Tweedle, phoned the police and we were arrested and kept in a dark and decaying cell for 48 hours. We were eventually released on compassionate grounds and we both decided, me and Carlton, to give up pickpocketing forever. We eventually settled down and found a job in a small shoe factory nearby, where Carlton sadly died a few years later. <laughs> 